Wow, hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Walker episode 52. It should have been the year anniversary, but we were gone for a long time. So, uh, this is the first episode of Monday Night Walker after the WWE draft. Um, and it's a big night tonight, it's a big card, a lot of number one contenders matches. Uh, first off, we're gonna, uh, whoa, we're gonna kick things off with an NXT championship match, the champion Cesaro, who won the NXT, uh, okay, championship on Friday Night Walker against Triple H, is defending it against Kofi Kingston, who's representing the New Day, and the former champion, Dean Ambrose. We also have Tyler Breeze in a handicap match against Enzo Amore, Colin Cassidy, now the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He hasn't cut out for him tonight, but we'll see how he, how he does against, uh, two former tag team champions. Also, a number one contenders match for the tag team championships. We got Kalisto and Sin Cara, the Lucha Dragons versus the Vaudeville and Simon Gotch and Aiden English. And just a regular tag team match. We haven't had one of those in a while, so I'm pretty excited for that. The winner goes on to Battleground to face the Brothers of Destruction, Undertaker and Kane, who have been unstoppable as of late for the tag team titles. Also, we have a number one contenders match for the United States Championship. Seth Rollins taking on Brock Lesnar. The winner goes on to face Finn Balor for the United States title at Battleground. And in our main event, our number one contenders match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship as Roman Reigns takes on Stone Cold, who takes on Randy Orton, who takes on Chris Jericho in a fatal four-way match. The winner, of course, faces Tyler Breeze in the main event of Battleground for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But guys, let's kick things off with this NXT Championship match. I'm excited for Monday Night Walker, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. We are back after a long, long time. And again, let me just read the roster for Monday Night Walker. Uh, we got Tyler Breeze, who is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Finn Balor, who is the United States Champion. Undertaker and Kane, the Tag Team Champions. And also all Tag Teams, which means Lucha Dragons. Uh, Vaude Villains, Enzo and Cass, uh, the Usos, and the New Day, they're all on Monday Night Walker, and they can always compete in singles matches if I see fit. Uh, we also have Seth Rollins, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Dean Ambrose on Monday Night Walker. And then the Friday Night uh, Walker roster is all women. Natalia, who's the women's champion right now, Emma, Naomi, Nikki Bella, Brie Bella, Layla, Paige, Summer Rae. We also got Edge, the world heavyweight champion. We got John Cena, the intercontinental champion. Then we got Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Neville, Sami Zayn, Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, Bray Wyatt, Fandango, and Hideo with Tommy. So we got a pretty stacked uh, roster for both shows here, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm excited. I'm very excited for what all, both of these shows can bring, especially for when the free previews get split up. But right now, oh, I forgot to mention. This is a ladder match for the NXT Championship. Whoops. I don't pay attention to anything anymore. But yes, this is a ladder match. This is always going to be defending his title in a ladder match. We also had, an, uh, the last time we had one of these kind of matches was at Walker Mania. It was a six-man ladder match for the United States Championship. And Winch Finn Balor won, which is one of the main reasons why he's on Monday Night Walker right now. Uh, it was a hard-fought match. Finn Balor was the most hungry in that entire match. Also, Kofi Kingston representing the New Day. Like I said, people from tag teams can compete in singles matches if they wanted to. I mean, it doesn't matter. Here comes the former NXT champion, the champion who lost his title at Walker Mania, Dean Ambrose. So we, he lost it at Walker Mania to Triple H, and Triple H lost it on Friday Night Walker to Cesaro. Now Cesaro is defending it tonight. Kofi Kingston in the ring is a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So is Dean Ambrose. So all three of these men ha are or have been champions in WWE, and I'm I'm excited to see what these guys can do in a ladder match. We've seen Dean Ambrose in it before. We've seen Kofi Kingston in one before, and we I think we've seen Cesaro in one before too. But when all these guys collide, it should be a very very interesting match to see, and we're got we're about to see it right now. Of course, the traditional Monday Night Walker Arena. Nothing changed here. We're still still here on Monday Night Walker. From New York, New York. And their opponent from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds. He is the NXT champion, Cesaro. There's the champ, wow. NXT the champion. And even though he has the belt around his waist, I'm pretty sure you can see the actual title belt hanging above the ring. It's fine. Whatever. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cares, all right? Listen. Cesaro getting ready for action. I'm excited for this match. I'm excited for tonight. We have some pretty good matches. Of course, Battleground next Sunday right here on Small Afro Games. 
So far, the card is Edge versus Neville for the World Heavyweight Championship. But this Friday on Friday Night Walker, we're going to find out who's going to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship and the Women's Championship, which is going to be a crazy, crazy night. Oh, so I have to make some other matches for that. Uh, the World Heavyweight Champion Edge is actually going to be competing that night against Daniel Bryan, which should be exciting. There we go, ladder match for the NXT title. Cesaro immediately grabs the camera. Oh, okay. So that's the thing about triple threat matches. You always got to be watching your back because you have no idea who's going to be coming from which way. Dean Ambrose with a back body drop. Unbelievable. <sighs> Kofi Kingston just kind of standing there like an idiot. Oh, there we go. The double team now on Dean Ambrose. Cesaro with a huge enziguri to the back of Dean Ambrose's head. While Kofi Kingston grabbed him. Now Kofi Kingston is going to climb to the top rope. Cesaro's going to let him sit by. Dean Ambrose is getting bullied here tonight. Dean Ambrose, though, trying to come back. He gets out of the way. <laughs> These guys were trying to absolutely annihilate him. Dean Ambrose grabbing a steel chair, and he failed. Cesaro's got the chair now. Both of these men are looking for blood. There we go. Now it's Kingston and Cesaro. The, the, uh, the teaming up is over here, ladies and gentlemen. Now Dean Ambrose looking to grab the ladder. Try to end things early here. I'm surprised. Dean Ambrose looking to reclaim his championship. That would be exciting if we still just saw like, three championship changes in a row of each NXT championship match. That would be insane. Dean Ambrose has the advantage. I don't know why he just doesn't climb the ladder. He's got both of these men down. Ambrose trying to make sure that these guys stay down. Nice. Whoa, what a reversal by Cesaro. Ambrose going for a suplex, but Cesaro blocked it into a sort of cross-body looking thing. I don't know how to explain that. Dean Ambrose once again breaking up whatever Cesaro was going for. Oh, man, that was now the double team on Cesaro. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, man, Cesaro's getting manhandled right now. Both of these men just want their piece of him. But Cesaro's still fighting. Oh, man. And if I'm not mistaken, Dean Ambrose's skull bounced off against that ladder. Another counter by Cesaro. And Dean Ambrose went for a drop kick, but missed. Cesaro delivers an elbow to the head of Kofi Kingston. Ambrose, there we go. That's the move he wanted to hit from before. He delivered it successfully. And again, the, the, the assault on Cesaro continues, but the current NXT champion continues to fight. Kofi Kingston stalking. He's stalking Cesaro. Oh, man, stomp it on the chest and stomach of the NXT champ of, of Dean Ambrose, excuse me, the former NXT champion. Side rush and legs, they be out the moves call as the ladder goes outside of the ring. Kofi Kingston trying to get Dean Ambrose off the turnbuckle. He does. Dean Ambrose falls outside of the ring. Kofi Kingston grabs a ladder now. Instead of putting it back into the ring, oh, man. You heard the ladder connect with Dean Ambrose's spine. That had to be, oh, man. That is not... Not pretty. Kofi Kingston throws Ambrose against the barricade. Picks him up for a body slam, but Dean Ambrose blocks it. Little does anyone know that Cesaro's in the ring, and he's got the NXT Championship. Cesaro just needs a little bit of time, and he's got the title, but Dean Ambrose pulls the champion down, keeping this match alive for as... I don't know. I don't know how much time we have left in this match. The championship is almost down, and look at this. Nobody realizes Kofi Kingston's up there, and he's got the title. Cesaro's too busy, busy worried about Dean Ambrose that he doesn't realize that Kofi Kingston... Oh, man. Now Cesaro. German suplex, and now it's Ambrose's turn. He's got the title. And Cesaro taking Ambrose down. No! Ambrose! He's got the title again! And Cesaro pulls Ambrose down. That was impressive by the former NXT champion. It's really just a race to the top of the ladder. Ambrose, man. Kingston with a double drop kick, and Cesaro once again climbing the ladder. Kingston trying to get him down, and he does successfully. Cesaro falls off the ladder from about 10 feet up in the air. What is Kingston going for here? Oh man, tilt to backbreaker on Dean Ambrose, and now again to double team, but this time it's on Ambrose. Oh man, knee right to the skull of the former NXT champion. Kingston and Cesaro trying to eliminate one man from this match, so maybe it could be a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, Cesaro with a dropkick. 
and Kofi Kingston picking up the NXT champion and a body slam. Nice traditional body slam there by Kofi Kingston. Kingston goes over the top rope. What is this? Oh, man, Kofi Kingston went for a little springboard move, but Cesaro got out of the way. Little does he realize that Dean Ambrose is on the top turnbuckle. Oh, when he tried to drop the elbow, but missed. Cesaro with a launching uppercut to Kingston. What a match. Ambrose. Oh, man. I don't know if it was Kingston or it was the ladder that blocked Cesaro from running back to Ambrose. He can deliver whatever move he was going for there. What is Ambrose going for here? Oh, Cesaro's going to join him for a little double team action. And a nice suplex there. Double suplex by Ambrose and Cesaro. But look at this. Ambrose climbing the ladder now. And he's got the title. Ambrose has the title. Kingston trying to climb the ladder. Does Dean Ambrose have this? Oh, man. Wait a minute, Cesaro. And both men are fighting on top of the ladder. Cesaro pushes it down. Look at how happy Cesaro is with himself. The NXT champion could just be moments away from climbing the ladder and retaining. But why is he picking Kobe Kingston up? He could very well be winning this match. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's eliminating the competition. He's trying to get Kobe Kingston outside of the ring. Wait a minute. He did it successfully, but now Dean Ambrose is back up. Does Cesaro even realize? What is Cesaro doing? Ambrose has the ladder now. And Cesaro's too worried about Kingston. Look at this. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is climbing the ladder. He's got the title, Cesaro. German suplex. Does Cesaro have time? He doesn't realize. Dean Ambrose, we have a new NXT champion. <laughs> Cesaro had no idea what just happened. He thought Dean Ambrose was down. He didn't even look behind him to see that Ambrose has the title the whole time. And uh, Dean Ambrose is the new NXT champion. Oh, my gosh. Only on Monday Night Walker, dude. This is absolutely unbelievable. Dean Ambrose. Way to kick off Monday Night Walker. Short match, but it was very, very epic. I am shocked. All right. Thank you for tuning in as we come to you live from Sacramento. All right. <laughs> On to the next match, ladies and gentlemen. We got a pretty big card here. Tyler Breeze, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, going to fight the former tag team champions, Enzo and Kaz, in a, in a handicap match. I don't know what's. I want to give a shout out to uh, to Joe Cronin show, my man Joe Cronin. Go follow him over there. He's got 36. I'm still here at 5,000. <laughs> Love what I do. When Philadelphia, I forgot to mention. Here comes the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, the man who has held his title for a very, very long time. I don't even know how to how to explain it, man. Tyler Breeze, two-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Within the no, longer than that, like eight months. But Tyler Breeze has been the WWE World Heavyweight Champion for about uh, eight months now. And it, I'm, so, I'm shocked. That belt does not come off Tyler Breeze's waist for a while. He's beaten people like Dean Ambrose. He's beaten people like Seth Rollins, Triple H, uh, Finn Balor, who is the current United States Champion. And uh, just at Walker Mania uh, 2, he defeated who I thought was going to dethrone Tyler, defeated Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar couldn't, the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, the winner of the main event of the first Walker Mania, couldn't even defeat Tyler Breeze. So we'll see if Tyler Breeze can be handed this first loss in a while here tonight in this handicap match. Because uh, Enzo, Enzo Moore and Colin Cassidy are former tag team champions in their own right. And it's a two to one advantage. Now Tyler Breeze is good, but I don't know if he's good enough to eliminate uh, a whole tag team. It's just, it's just a one fall to a finish. But I mean... Oof. This is going to be an exciting thing to see. Tyler Breeze, a confident champion. 
and he's going to find out later on tonight who is going to be facing at Battleground in the main event for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Is it going to be Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, or Stone Cold Steve Austin? Neither man has had the opportunity to fight Tyler Breeze for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship as of yet, but, you know, anything can happen here. And, hey, at Battleground, we just might see a new champion. We'll see if Tyler Breeze can even push his momentum by beating this team. And so. My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide star. And you can't teach that. Can you guys even hear him? I can't even hear him right now. This is Big Cats, and he's seven foot tall. And you can't teach that. I, I mean, I can kind of hear him. Realist guys in a room. How you doing? <laughs> Mike was cut off for tonight. Tonight, but he certainly looks up for the challenge. <coughs> Guys, follow me on Twitter at Small Afro Games. I post things over there a lot. And for our so called opponents tonight, we have one word to describe her, and I'm gonna well, is Tyler Breeze soft? <laughs> we'll find out tonight. Oh boy. Here we go. Tyler Breeze versus Enzo and Cass. I'm excited. Here we go. I mean, Tyler Breeze is the WWE Heavyweight Champion. He's been, he's been put through a lot. But, I mean, I have no idea. Looking to be in great shape here. Um, hold on a second, guys. Enzo Amore finds a way out. How do you spell integration? Just I'm sending out a tweet to my friend uh, Devious Dave Rose. But uh, here we go. Let's focus on this match. I mean, Enzo and Cass. The two of the most dominant guys I've seen in World Walker Entertainment in the tag team division, at least. I mean, Tyler Breeze. He's kind of getting manhandled by Enzo Amore right now. I mean, look at this. Enzo going for a DDT, but Tyler Breeze reverses it. Wow. Already into a cover. That was interesting. Tyler Breeze. I mean, if, can you if you can you imagine if Tyler Breeze puts this puts these guys away? I would be shocked. All right, I would be absolutely shocked. Guys, um, my birthday is next Wednesday. Uh, not this, not not two days from now Wednesday, but like next like next week, uh, Wednesday, like the week the the, the Wednesday after next. I want to make like a special video. I don't know if I should make like a vlog or I should make like a special kind of video. I, I might live stream in the morning. That'd be interesting. I could do that. Uh, I don't know how it would work out because I don't. I'm not a. I don't have a computer to help, but we're going to work all that stuff out soon. I'm also going to be at SummerSlam, the World Wrestling Entertainment SummerSlam. But I'll make, I'm gonna make a video about that the day I'm recording this Sunday. Alright, Enzo, wait a second. Look at this. Nice neck breaker by Enzo Amore. Tyler Breeze is down. Could Enzo possibly I mean Oh here we go. Tagging in his partner, Big Cass. Oh, this is a sight to see. Tyler Breeze versus Colin Cassidy. Uh oh. And look at the look at the size of Big Cass just absolutely launching Tyler Breeze off of him. Oh my gosh. Tyler Breeze raking the eyes of Colin Cassidy. Wait a minute, look at this. Nice! Oh my gosh, how did he get the big guy down? The WWE World Heavyweight Champion is on is holding his own, man. I gotta give him credit, stomping on the arm now of, of Big Cass. Here we go, what's this? Breeze. Oh, <laughs> dropping ca big cast right on his ta on his head. That's insane. 
Oh, wait a minute. Tyler Breeze was going for the supermodel kick. Big kick. Uh oh. I don't know, man. Cash needs to watch out. Wait a minute. Enzo, um, Enzo I mean, he needs to get involved. Oh, man. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Oh. Oh my gosh. Colin Cassidy, no problem getting out of that one. It just takes some time. Alright, um <laughs> Tyler Breeze kicks out. Here we go. This is this is this is a vital point in the matchup. Because Tyler Breeze was going for a supermodel kick, guys, and for years, Monday night has been the most exciting. All Tyler Breeze needs is an open window. And he's got it. Oh look, he was, oh man, he was trying to do it again. Cash has just been Stopping every uh, attempt at a signature move here. Big cast, though. He could probably be building some momentum right now. Look at that. Huge boot right to the head. I think that's Cass's signature maneuver. So wait a second. Oh, man. Tyler Breeze kicks out. Whew. <laughs> Tyler Breeze neck breaker to Big Cass. Because back body drop to Tyler Breeze. Look at this. Big cast. And there's the tag. Here we go. This is it. This could be the end of Tyler Breeze. Can you imagine this? Look at this. Aaron so. So what is it? What do they call it? The rocket launcher? Into the cover. That's their finishing maneuver. That's their tag team finishing maneuver. Tyler Breeze kicks out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, Enzo Amore. Absolutely destroying Tyler Breeze right now. They're running out of options. I mean, what can they do here? I mean, Enzo Amore trying to go for a cover here. One, two. Tyler Breeze once again kicks out. I am shocked that Tyler Breeze is still in this match. He got, they, he got hit with everything. Are you kidding me? Enzo, uh-oh, made a mistake. And Tyler Breeze has the advantage. What can the champion do here? What can the champ... Uh-oh. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it for uh, Enzo Amore here. And the beauty shot. Beauty shot on Enzo Amore. Into the cover. Colin Cassidy, I'm pretty sure he's going to break it up. He didn't, but Enzo kicked out anyway. Are you kidding me? <laughs> why, didn't, why didn't Colin Cassidy go help him? That makes no type of sense. All right. Whatever. And Tyler Breeze throws Enzo more into the turnbuckle. Uh oh. Kicks back and forth. Wait a minute, Tyler Breeze. Uh oh. And Enzo. Oh man, drops Tyler Breeze right on his head. This is an intense, this is a brutal match. I'm surprised that Tyler Breeze has been able to withstand all this punishment here. Okay, there's another tag. No, Tyler Breeze counters the, I guess, tag attempt. Here we go. I mean, okay, it's another attempt now. This time it works. Enzo and Cass. What is this? Oh, my God. Enzo Amore throwing Tyler Breeze into the boots of, of Big Cass. That is unbelievable. Tyler Breeze, what is this now? Oh my gosh, I think I know what this is. Tyler Breeze hit this before, like at Walker Mania. Oh my gosh. Springboard dropkick to Colin Cassidy, absolutely demolishing him and throwing him outside of the rig. Oh my gosh. Oof. Tyler Breeze. Oh, hold on, I'm about to. I gotta DM somebody on uh, on Twitter. Hold up. All right. Big cast. Tyler, I mean, I don't, I, I don't even know how to call this one, dude. 
Tyler Breeze, I mean, I, I don't know how Tyler Breeze could win this match. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Like, I've given up on commentary during this because this match is just, as it's gone on, has been so ridiculous is how Tyler Breeze is able to keep himself up. Oh, my gosh. Guys, you're about to be witness to something cool because we're going to have to do some videoception right now. Wait a minute. Oh, one, two, and Colin Cassidy kicks out. I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm going to record a video right now telling people what I want for my birthday. Okay? I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention to this match. I'm pretty sure Cass just hit his signature maneuver. And that's it! Whoa! Enzo and Cass just pinned the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Wow. I mean, it's a handicap match. What do you expect? Tyler Breeze did get a beauty shot in, but I mean, what did it do? Nothing. I'm about to record a video that I'm going to upload right now. And you guys are going to be listening to me recording that video right now. It's about to be some some trippy, trippy stuff. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm just sending send a message to somebody. Uh, congratulations to Enzo and Cass, by the way. I'm so preoccupied right now. Such a busy schedule. Just watch the highlights, guys. Hold on a second. I gotta type to somebody. Um. Okay. Ready for this videoception? Now we're gonna watch the, uh. We're gonna watch the, uh, the. The entrances to our next match is the number one contenders match for the WWE Tag Team titles as the Lucha Dragons, Sin Cara and Kalisto face the Vaude Villains. Now their entrance should take a little while, so hold on a second. I am going to have my headset on and be recording a video at the same time that I'm uploading on YouTube right now. And if you guys are ha and it, it's double duty, so if you guys, you know, you guys didn't watch that video and you're watching this one, it's a good opportunity to, uh, to help me out. All right, we got the Lucha Dragons coming to the ring right now. I'm about to press record. All right, let's get ready, everyone. The following tag team contest is scheduled for okay, everyone. Hi. Uh, I'm currently recording Monday Night Walker right now, and uh, <laughs> it's some videoception because as I'm recording it. You guys are going to be able to hear me tomorrow. Um, it's actually been a pretty interesting episode so far. There's a lot more interesting stuff. I'm going. I'm recording this video to tell you guys what I want for my birthday. Now everyone's been asking me, Jaron, what do you want for your birthday? Obviously, the reason I'm making this video. Everyone's been saying, Hey, Jaron, how can I help you out, man? I mean, uh, I can click like on all of your videos, but I mean, do you want anything specific for your birthday? My birthday is July 20th, by the way, which is next Wednesday, and yes, I do. Now everyone's been asking me t for these raw for these raw streams again and i would, would gladly provide you guys with uh, the raw streams here's the dilemma and i've said this numeral uh, numerous times on my videos that i don't have a computer to do so my computer's broken the charger won't go into the charge hole i don't know if the the metal that's supposed to be in it melted or what but it just doesn't click whenever i put the charge hole uh when i put the charger in the charge hole it just falls out it doesn't click and it doesn't charge so my computer's basically gone at this point so here's what i want to do i don't want a laptop i don't want like to physically get one but i do want to save up for one and a birthday present to me would be you guys helping me out now i know i have a lot of fans and i know i have a lot of fans like under the age of 18 so i don't want you guys to do anything you don't want to do but in the link is a link to help me out it supports the channel and it's it's a donation link for twitch alerts so you guys can donate any amount uh that you want to and it's for me it's for my birthday and it's to give it's it's to give to you and so it's it's a pay it forward cycle kind of thing you help me so i can buy uh, a computer to help you guys out and it gives you better it can give you better quality content i can do better with the editing job on my videos i can do a lot of other things so if you guys can please click the link in the description and donate any amount of money you can to me and if you can't it's fine i don't want to be like one of those like e-begging guys um and the word e-begging is thrown around very very loosely nowadays but I'm simply asking this one time. Uh, it's a birthday present to me, uh, and 
I mean, if you do, you might be into some cool stuff down the road because I see your name and I can help you out. I might send you a, t a free T-shirt down the road or something like that. But I need all the help I can get. Uh, so if you guys can help me out, that would be pretty cool. So, guys, link is in the description to donate. It helps me out. Get a laptop. Uh, get anything. So it helps support the channel. If you guys can, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to finish recording this right now, which is why I keep looking back and forth, because we've got a number one contenders match right now for the tag team titles, uh, and i got to get back to it. So, guys, I will see you tomorrow with this video that you can listen to this video on. It's weird. Just shh. <laughs> okay. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with, <laughs> with, the, with the tag team championship match. Okay. I mean, not the tag team championship. I have lost my marbles tonight. You have no idea. I am completely on drugs. I am. But I, that's just fine. Drugs are cool. <laughs> drugs are cool. Drugs are fine. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, you do. I know you like that. Because I liked it. So, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn this fan back on because it's hot as balls in my room. Now, this is just a one fall to a finish, guys. This is just, this is just a regular tag team match. Uh, a lot of tag team wrestling going to be going on here in World of Walker Entertainment uh, now, especially on Monday Night Walker because, I mean, of the split rosters, you got to have tag team wrestling. And tag team wrestling is really, really good. I mean, as you can see right now, we got two of the uh, the teams that we've never really used that much in World of Walk Entertainment. They're getting a little bit of a push now in, uh, in WWE because I, 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 I need them to. They're gonna be, you're going to be seeing them a lot more. I don't want to just use the same three teams, which is the New Day, um, um, Enzo and Cass, and, the, uh, and Undertaker and Kane for every single tag team championship match. That's not cool. That's not something that I want to do. So, if you, I mean... I'm gonna give everybody else something, you know, cool to 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 uh, to watch, and it's, this is a new thing. This is a new. This is a new type of product. And I'm sorry that my commentary is a little bit off tonight. I was cool for the first match, but like for the second and third match right now, I'm a little bit like off because I'm worried about a lot of other things. Um, but I'm, we're gonna get back on track, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Sin Cara trying to go for a count-out victory here. This is a smart idea. I mean, tag team champions, um, tag team matches, I'm sorry, are hard, you know, to win. So, I mean, if you, <laughs> if you can get a count-out victory, it counts. You become the number one contender either way. It's much, just a smart thing to do. I am hot. Oh, in more ways than one, baby. So, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I noticed when I record Monday Night Walker and then when I upload it, because I don't, I don't watch it before I upload it. I kind of just record it, and I'm like, all right, that's uh, I kind of like laugh. I like it because I'm they like sit through it and just like, I like go, oh, man, like I see like the video scratchy. The balls kind of that look insane. Going <laughs> for a pin. Oh, oh. Aiden English kicks. Ooh, drop kick. Of Aiden. He wakes up in the morning. The go tag to Kalisto. Oof. So guys, again, uh, the video that I just made here for that I want for something I want for my birthday. It's kind of it's a new laptop, but I, the only way I can get it, I'm not giving anybody. So I mean, the uh, it is through like be asking for until the raw stream start up again, and then I'll be like, hey, if you guys want to, every once in a while, I mean, if you guys want, link is in the description of yesterday's video, the video where I said what I want for my birthday, which you. So if you guys uh, are willing to open up your your hearts and wallets, I guess and it supports me. It it's it in no way is going towards anything like uh like personal like I don't know like a bag of you guys give to me is go. For a fact, I don't know. be it. 
the, the And I don't know why, because Aiden English and Simon Gotch have not been able to get the job done on any other occasion. Never been the tag team champions. What is this? Never seen this before. Oh my god! <laughs> I've never There's the sense of Gotch. Oh boy. English completely shakes that off. It's, it's reversal time, baby. Oh my god. What did we just see? Now Simon Gotch is in this matchup and Simon Gotch. <laughs> it just takes Right, all right. So <laughs> I've been into a lot of early 2000. Like. Seven. Oh, Rolling Senton by Simon Gotch. That could be it. That's a signature move. I'll tell you right there, ladies and gentlemen. Sin Cara could be out. He kicks out. That's. I mean, both of these guys are. are very, very hard, I can tell. But. The number one. Chips. Wait a second. Are we seeing this move again? This time it's being delivered by. Are you? <laughs> Into the cover. English. What? Wait. Oh, see, Car could have broken it. And Simon got. Early 2000 music has been like, like I've lo I loved it. I love early 2000 music. So uh, every chance that I get, I um, I, I download songs. I have like a whole playlist on my phone. So if you guys hear me singing like a song from like 2004, like you, you'll be like, oh, just be like, oh, okay, I understand. I know what he's doing. Like, because <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, the Vaude villains are completely bullying Kalista right now, which is not cool. Everything, everything will be all right, all right. It just takes some time. That's from like 2004. <laughs> oh man, I mean, what are we doing here, man? What are we doing? I, there, there have been some times where I just have no idea what to talk about uh, these things. But, I love it. Wait a minute, they're getting counted out. Is Gotch trying to, trying to get him back in the ring? Like, okay, I guess the count got the count got negated. I have no idea how any of this stuff works, man. I don't. <laughs> it just takes some time. Gotch is stuck. So we're going to have to wait until Kalisto gets up. Because he apparently doesn't know how to just move around somebody. Move around. Move around. You ever notice, like, when I'm uh, doing one of these videos, like I'm on a net walker, I completely, like, I start talking about one thing, and then I completely forgot what I'm talking about. Wait a minute, the cover. Seen Carr was quick to break that up. Oh, my gosh. Aiden English, though. Look at this. The fight between Sin Car and uh, Aiden English. Oh my god. Move it alone. Look at this. The, the Aiden English and, and Kalisto are fighting outside of the ring. Oh, I'm sorry. Sin Cara. That's it? <laughs> what? <laughs> Aiden English decides to climb the turnbuckle and start. Alright. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Whatever. I <laughs> don't. So the Lucha Dragons are the number one contenders for the tag team uh, titles. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I mean, <laughs> I, I just, I don't. I mean, what can I say at this point, man? What can I say? Uh,
I mean, it's cool. <laughs> That's cool. There's just such like, uh, like we're just gonna get to uh, maybe the most exciting match. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, it's the number one contenders match for the United States title. Can, can you imagine Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor or Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor for the United States Championship? That's going to be pretty cool. So I'm excited to see that. Um, and I'm glad that Monday Night Walker is only five matches now because like eight, nine, ten matches a week burn me out. And then like, of course, now we have two shows. So now I have to like I mean, it's still 10 matches a week, but it's split up, and I don't have to worry about it, which is good. I like doing that. I also want to start recording videos in advance. Like, if I just sat down, like, one whole day and just recorded, like, everything. Like, <laughs> like I want to record, like, like a month's worth of, like, videos in just one day, one sitting. That would that would be that would be pretty pretty good, and I like wouldn't have to worry about uploading World Walk Entertainment for a month. Whew, that would that would make me feel uh, a lot better, and I mean it's a lot easier on my brain noodles and things. Brain noodles, you like you like that word, guys? Brain noodles. I know I do. Uh, <laughs> Seth Rollins, though, getting ready to fight the Beast. Has Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar ever fought? I don't. Which is interesting. It's a very interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, here comes the Beast. Now, I don't know how Brock Lesnar is going to do in this match, okay? He won the Royal Rumble this year. Lost that Walker made it to Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze. I mean, he's... But I mean, let Brock, Brock, come on, Brock, <laughs> Brock. So we got Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins, and if Seth Rollins uh, can beat Lesnar, that just pushes Brock Lesnar so for, far further down the, the the championship ladder ranking, which, which would be sad. I would feel bad for Brock. <laughs> I feel for Brock, guys. I do. He just has me catch. It doesn't. So why should I care about Brock Lesnar, huh? I should. One of our top stars in World of Walker Entertainment, or what? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, uh, shout out also to JD from NY206. Refuses to answer any of my tweets. Refuses to get in contact with me, even though I told him who I am and he knows who I am. But. Well, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. Number one contenders match. Never seen it before. First time ever. Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. I'm excited. Let's do this. Oh, my God. Just immediately off the bat. Hold on. I'm still, I'm still tweeting. Um, okay, I really want to start paying attention to this match because this is a cool match. Uh, Lesnar throws Seth Rollins against the ropes, picks him, uh-oh, this is suplex city time. That's a good start, I guess. Seth Rollins' body just completely bended in half, oh my gosh. Rollins drops the knees. We've never seen a match like this before. Who do you, I mean, how can you even, like, see one of these guys losing? Look at that. Look at the athleticism on Seth Rollins. I mean, how can you... Look at the... Look at the <laughs> how amazing is this, dude? Brock Lesnar's been kind of being... Getting pummeled these past couple... Uh, past couple weeks. I feel bad for Brock. I feel for Brock. I feel... I feel I mean, it took it took four beauty shots to put him away, right? So I mean, Seth Rollins is gonna have to do a lot. I'm getting. 
Is that my sign off now? What did I say at the end of the video? Wait, Lesnar. Wait a minute. Reverse the suplex. Into a German suplex. God, wait. What's my send off? What did I say? What a shot. I can't believe that just happened to Seth Rollins. I think that's going to be worse than needing to gather yourself outside the ring. I think Seth is seriously injured. Tomorrow, with this video, that you can listen to this video. Man, these are powerful uh, shots to Brock Lesnar. I don't know how his equilibrium was not <laughs> That is my sign off. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't realize what. Like, half the time, I don't realize anything that I say. But, like, it's cool. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like I'm I'm looking at my phone and I shouldn't be but I mean oh I'm just I'm very very exhausted. So if it, what the balls was I just saw I look up and I see Seth Rollins just falling from grace. <laughs> Lesnar working on the arm of Rollins now. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Lesnar stomping away on Rollins. You can hear it in the crowd's reaction. Seth Rollins will find a and an uppercut. Now, Brock Lesnar, the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, is Seth Rollins? I don't. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> crap! I don't know. I don't think Seth Rollins has ever been the uh, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, which is cool. So we got three number one contenders matches in a row. This is the second one. So far, we got the Lucha Dragons. Oh my gosh! Did you see the power of that German Slam. suplex? That, that almost cut Slam. Rollins in half. Good lord. Rollins, reversal, shoulder block, takes down Lesnar. We've seen the athleticism on the part of Rollins before. He's going for a cover. Why? Look, he kicks out at one. Lesnar kicked out at one. <laughs> Seriously. What is this now? Rollins, look at the athleticism. The timing and just the quickness of Rollins is just, it can't be matched. I mean, Lesnar's quick, but Rollins is just a freaking bunny. Like, how to, like, seriously. Uh-oh. Lesnar throws Rollins against the turnbuckle. Oh, Rollins, reversal. Kick to the stomach. What is this? Goes for a neckbreaker. Lesnar pushes Rollins out of the way. He's tired of all this flimsy, uh, like, wacky waving inflatable arm flailing like two-man crap. And, oh, that, <laughs> oh, that hurts. Rollins, end of the cover on Lesnar once again. And Lesnar kicks out at two this time. He's getting closer. Rollins is getting closer. Lesnar, though, desperately trying to keep this match alive. He doesn't want two losses in a row. How bad does that do for the reputation of Brock? Seriously. Lesnar. Oh man, stomping right on the stomach of Seth Rollins. And now Brock Lesnar picks up Rollins. And Brock Lesnar going for a body slam on Rollins. But Rollins reverses it, giving Brock Lesnar a taste of his own medicine German suplex. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Cool. Rollins into the cover. That's a rope break. And Lesnar gets out of it. Right hand by Rollins. What is this? Okay. <laughs> wow. Le oh, Rollins. Is he going up top? No, springboard. Oh, my gosh. We saw that from Kobe Kingston earlier uh, this, tonight. Earlier tonight. Going for a cover. Wait a minute. Rollins. Dirty pin. Wait a minute. And Brock Lesnar still managed to kick out Rollins. That frustrated Rollins. Rollins had a little bit of leverage right there, but uh, Lesnar still managed to get the shoulders up. Nice reversal by Brock. There's absolutely wa waffling Rollins in the gut. And Seth. Okay. Rollins. Wait a second. We've seen this before. The super kick. And Brock, Brock is busted open. Not a good sign. 
Not a good sign for Lesnar. Rollins. He rolls Lesnar over. What is this? Dragging him back to the center of the ring now. What is going on here? Rollins wearing down the beast. You already see the cut on Brock Lesnar's forehead. Oh, my gosh. What is Rollins going for now? He's got Lesnar in the corner. He could have gone for a signature off of that. Uh, he got for a, a, fin, a pinfall of that uh, signature move. Excuse me, but instead Rollins just, just continues to punish the beast. Uh-oh. Rollins double stomp onto the chest of Brock. Unbelievable. Uh-oh. Rollins is setting up for it. Rollins getting ready. Oh my gosh, Rollins went for the pedigree. Oh, but Buck <laughs> tried to reverse it. And Rollins with an enziguri. I don't know if that counted because, I mean, I don't know. Can Seth Rollins still deliver the pedigree? Does he have enough strength? Does he have enough momentum? I don't know. What is this? Oh, Seth Rollins is just trying to wear Brock Lesnar down. Look at that. Just toying with the beast. Toying with the former champion. Just damaging Brock Lesnar. Look, oh man, Brock Lesnar is cut open. We're looking at complete Look at this. Here. Oh, Lesnar gets out of the suplex again, and a German to Seth Rollins. This is all to become the number one contender for the United States Championship, man. You gotta be kidding me. Lesnar, once again, German suplex. No, he's not done. Brock Lesnar's not done. He's got Rollins up again. Oh my gosh. And a third time, the German suplex to Seth Rollins. Lesnar into the cover. One, two, and Rollins kicks out. Brock Lesnar does not believe that Rollins kicked out of that. That was a triple German suplex, really quadruple German suplexes to Seth Rollins. Look at the strength. Oh my gosh, backbreaker by Seth. What can Rollins do here? What can Rollins do now? Oh man, the neck. The neck of Lesnar, look, oh my gosh, it hurts. It just hurts me watching that. That just, oh my gosh. Staying on the attack. It hurt. that hurts, it hurts it deeply. What is Rollins doing, what is Rollins going for? He's going for another cover. And Lesnar rolls the shoulder up at two. Oh, Lesnar rolls the shoulder up at two. And <laughs> Brock Lesnar has no idea what to do. Roger, again, I'm tired. Can you hear it in my voice? I'm exhausted. My armpit is itchy, and I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I'm a clean person, and it doesn't stink. It just, I guess it's the hairs, I don't know. I shaved. Shaved a little while ago. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I mean, stellar commentary or whatever. <laughs> and Rollins. Rabin Lesnar. Okay. That was it. That was the one move Rollins decided to hit. That's probably why Brock Lesnar keeps reversing everything, because Rollins doesn't want to do anything. Look at this. Lesnar goes over the top rope again, and Rollins. What does he got hit? What? It, what? Rollins. Power bomb to the outside. Oh, my gosh. How effective was that? And Rollins back on the attack on Lesnar. Got him back into the ring now. What is... What can Rollins do now? Again, just putting Lesnar down. I mean, oh my gosh. But wait, what, 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 just, what just happened? How did Lesnar reverse? Rollins kicks out, but I mean, what just... What? Oh my gosh, Lesnar is pouring blood out of his forehead now. Knee! Oh my gosh, Rollins is known for breaking noses with that with that move. Look at this once again, Rollins super kick, super kick to Lesnar. That can't be good. Rollins, could that be it? Could we see a new number one contender and Brock Lesnar kicks out? Look at the blood. The blood is on his chest now. Are you kidding me? Brock Lesnar, the blood is on his chest. How is Brock Brock Lesnar still fighting? What? You've got to be kidding me. Brock Lesnar's going for it. He's measuring. I can't believe this. Brock Lesnar. 
You gotta be kidding me, Lesnar. F5. F5 to Seth Rollins. Lesnar into the cover. One, two. How Seth Rollins kicks out? Oh my gosh, how? And Brock Lesnar is gushing, gushing blood. How this match is still going on, I will never know. But Rollins, pedigree. <laughs> Rollins with a pedigree. Into the cover. One, two, and Lesnar kicks out. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Rollins and Lesnar, oh man. Seth Rollins. Just, oh my gosh. I mean, we got an F5 and a kick out. We got a pedigree and a kick out. Lesnar once again, look at this. F5. <laughs> Wasting little time here. Lesnar into the cover. One, two. That's it. Brock Lesnar is the number one contender for the United States Championship. Oh, my God. Finn Balor, get yourself ready, boy, because Brock Lesnar is coming for you. Busted open and everything. Blood rushing down his forehead, down his face, onto his stomach. Lesnar managed to win this match. Two F5s. And Brock Lesnar's victorious. I'm gonna skip these highlights because everyone everyone already had to sit through this entire match. This whole this crazy, crazy match. And Brock Lesnar's face cleaned up, still blood, there's rushing there's still blood rushing out of his forehead. And it's pouring down his face now. Uh, we should get him another towel. <laughs> we should uh we should be a little concerned about Lesnar guys. He's kinda he's still bleeding. Uh there is the blood is getting, it is now it is on his chest again now, guys. The blood has gotten worse. <laughs> the, the blood, uh, there's there's a lot of blood still. The rock, oh, God. <laughs> okay. We got to get to our main event now, which is the, oh, my God. <laughs> the number one contenders match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Oh my gosh, the winner of this is going to face Tyler Breeze for the World WWE Heavyweight Championship at Battleground. In the main event, none of these guys have the, have had the opportunity to fight for Tyler Breeze yet for that title. But we'll we'll find out. Chris Jericho, former Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on a second. Oh God, Roman Reigns. Ugh. Surprised. I'm surprised even in this company still. The following fatal four-way contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 <coughs> Roman Reigns. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put um, you made a smart choice tuning in. My this my butt place. itches. I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna point that out. Amazing. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why I said that, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Um oh. Still sending out tweets. I mean, does anyone really care about these entrances? No. Go, go pee. <laughs> go pee and come back. Nobody will blame you. All right. And approaching the ring from San Luis, Missouri, weighing in at 245. When I shout at everyone who uh, says that they're going to uh, to help me out. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Sacramento crowd is excited for this one.
They tell me things that I will do. They tell me things I'll do to you. They talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. So, I know you guys can't hear the uh, the song. I don't know. Uh oh, stone cold, stone cold, stone cold. And from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Wilson. Wow, the roof nearly blew up the arena for this superstar. A big match. I... Let's see if he's up for the challenge. Hold on a second. I'm just monitoring my video. I mean, I'm just doing a bunch of YouTube stuff. You guys understand. Boom, 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 boom. Oh boy, I'm, I'm tired. Um Wait, what? Is it to that page? No way to on Instagram say he makes my ovaries explode. That's not a No, he did not. My ovaries are exploding. I'm so oh my god. <laughs> Page <laughs> on Instagram just said he's back. My ovaries are exploding. I'm so excited. He makes me feel like the prettiest girl. Thanks for giving me my confidence back and motivating me to be a better person on the inside and outside. Don't know what I'd do without you. Blessed with beyond belief. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. My ovaries are exploding. You know, so are mine, to be completely honest. I mean, I mean, whose ovaries don't explode every once in a while? I mean, come on. Boom, 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 boom. All right, do we have everyone in the ring? Because I wasn't paying attention before. But yes, I feel like we have everyone now. We have everyone. Okay, cool. Number one contenders match, and Roman Reigns runs after Chris Jericho. Oh my God. And a belly to back suplex, I think it's called. I, I don't know. Don't remember, but my armpit is still like just. I gotta keep it up because this is this is not okay. Um. Anyway, I'm just liking a bunch of pictures on Instagram. I gotta pay attention. I'm just I'm very out of it. You know? Yeah. I just I don't know what to what to say. Uh, I mean, Randy Orton's fighting outside of the ring. I mean, you y you can't. You can't do that, because I mean, if you, if you fight outside the ring, how are you gonna know what's going on inside the? I mean, I guess that makes sense. I don't know if that sentence makes sense. I'm, I'm just going off fumes here. Here we go. Um, Chris Jericho picking up Roman Reigns, and this is the battle. I mean, it's one fall to a finish, and there's no disqualifications. So I mean, you can go inside or outside the ring, and Randy Orton and Stone Cold are taking full advantage of that. They are going up the stage, like beyond belief. Oh my gosh. Why? Suplex onto the. Oh god. I mean, Chris Jericho and Roman Reigns have the biggest chance of winning right now. I mean, why is Randy Orton continuing to throw Stone Cold up the ramp? <laughs> yeah, Stone. There you go. Stone Cold. And uh, jeez. Orton getting back into the ring now. He realizes what he's doing. And he, he leaves. He leaves the ring. Gets back into the ring now. There we go. 
I mean, what the balls just like, what was that about? I don't know what that was just now, but whatever. And now it's Chris Jericho and Roman Reigns' turn to leave the ring. Jesus. What is Jericho doing? I don't. <laughs> what a fiddle for a match we've seen so far. I don't. Jericho grabs Reigns. Suplex. Suplex. <laughs> okay. Back body drop by Austin. The winner, of course, faces Tyler Breeze in the main event of Battleground in 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 in, in, in 13 days. Yes, 13 days for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, so so far we got Edge versus Neville for the World Heavyweight Championship. We got Neville. Uh, no, what? What? We got. Uh, <laughs> we got uh, the Lucha Dragons versus the Brothers of Destruction for the tag team titles. We got Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor for the United States Championship. And we still have three more number one contenders matches to go to for uh, Battleground. Stone Cold into the cover, and Randy Orton kicks out. Wait a minute. Jericho throws just throwing Roman Reigns to the, to the wind. Fly, my son. I mean... I mean, how? Why? Why would you even fight outside of the ring? That makes no sense to me. Like, what? I mean, whatever. Wait a minute, Orton. The five stomps. This. I mean, nobody's paying attention. <laughs> Randy Orton's hitting a signature move inside the ring. People. Does no. Does no one know what's going on? One, two. And okay. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I just guess. I just guess winning doesn't matter to anybody in this match. Jeez. Jeez. Orton. Orton. Neckbreaker. Stone Cold reverses it. Stone Cold. Look at this. What is this? Stone Cold going for something here. Power bomb. Randy Orton trying to get out of it. He reverses it. Kick to the gut. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Side rush and leg sweep. Yeah, I know what that is called. And Chris Jericho has just been absolutely raping Roman Reigns outside the ring. I mean, seriously. He has been annihilating him. And look, oh, God. Never mind, though. Reigns has had the advantage now, but Stone Cold. I think I thought Randy Orton was going for his RKO there, but I guess, I guess not. Orton dumping Stone Cold over. Is this match just completely going outside of the ring now? I mean, I have no idea what's going on. Orton, what is he doing? He's outside of the ring now. The targeting has changed. What? They were going toward. Make up your minds. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know what's going on. Randy Orton is just fighting everyone. Is he gonna go after Stone Cold? Is he gonna go after somebody else? I don't. I can't tell. My controller batteries are low. <laughs> I don't know, man. Why is nobody gonna go? In, nobody's gonna go in the ring. Does nobody care about? Winning this match, it's not a good thing. I mean, we should really get back into the ring. Look, Stone Cold's got the right idea. Uh, or not. Maybe not. No idea. Orton. Uh, side rush. Actually, yeah, the move's called. Jericho getting back up to his feet. Roman Reigns getting back into the ring now. And I don't know. Really just, I'm pretty sure the first person to hit their finishing move will win the match. And Randy Orton seems to be doing a good job of that right now. DDT. Vintage Orton. Is he going to go for a cover? That's a ballsy move just in front of everybody. That <laughs> Orton's down. Orton's down. <laughs> the Viper has been... The snake has been charred. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Randy Orton. Is nobody paying attention? The punt! Oh my god. Randy Orton just punted Roman Reigns in the head. No. This is not good. That is vicious. Orton. One. Two. What? How? How did Roman Reigns kick out of that? Are you kidding me? That is the most BS thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Roman Reigns kicked out of the, the punt? Seriously? Wait a minute, Roman Reigns. Here we go. Oh, God. That just, that, my spine hurts watching that. Wait a minute, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is setting up for it. 
Superman push is blocked. He blocked it. Randy Orton blocked it. Orton throws Roman Reigns into the turnbuckle. Now is setting his sights on Jericho. Orton backbreaker to Jericho. Why is Orton just going after everyone in this match? I don't understand. And Stone Cold and Roman Reigns fight. Oh my God. Is nobody paying attention? Nobody's paying attention. Randy Orton. RKO to Jericho. No. This is not good. Nobody's paying attention. One. Two. Jericho kicked out of the RKO. What? Orton just can't catch a break. <laughs> oh my God. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. What can Orton do? Nothing. Jericho puts it outside of the ring once again. Jericho's had enough of Orton. God, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep Roman Reigns drop, drop Stone Cold. Wait a what? Okay, Jericho wants this match to go outside of the ring. I don't know why. Reigns into the cover, and Jericho breaks it up. Finally, a breakup in this match. Oh my gosh, took you all, took you all long enough. Good lord. What a what a crazy episode this has been. This episode has been all over the place. He got his opponent, and what's he going for here? Dude. <laughs> Reigns. Reigns. Oh, my God. Dropping the back of Stone Cold's head on to the knee of Roman Reigns. That is not a pleasant move to be hit by. And Stone Cold with the reversal. Back body dropped by uh, the Rattlesnake. Wait a minute. Stone Cold. Now it's Stone Cold's turn. Wait a minute. <laughs> So Stone Cold's going for the stunner. But Randy, wait a minute, nobody's paying attention. Stone Cold into the cover, one, two. Stone Cold's the number one contender. Randy Orton was too busy taunting. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what? Stone Cold is gonna go on to Battleground to face Tyler Breeze for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. What a main event we got. Ladies and gentlemen, I. <laughs> Whoa! All right. So that just happened. Let, let's watch. Let's watch the closing moments to this match. Cause I mean, look at this. Randy Orton. He was too busy. Look at this. He was. He was gonna hit his signature DDT. And Stone Cold hits the stunner. Randy Orton doesn't realize this. Hits the DDT. Since they're taunting. Thinking that Roman is gonna kick out, but Stone Cold wins. Stone Cold is gonna face Tyler Breeze. That's our main event. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Tyler Breeze for the WWE Heavyweight Championship. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm excited. Guys, thanks for watching Monday Night Walker. We'll see you this Friday for Friday Night Walker. What a show. I, I pressed the wrong button.